All right, House of the Rest from 1996. One of my favorite uh, kids' films of the 90s. Of I know this is not really a good movie, but I like it anyway. Before I start, I want to say rest in peace to Rocky Erickson. Hope I got his last name right. Rory, Rocky Erickson. Uh, he was a musician, a singer. He's done a lot of songs, but uh, he's probably best known, well, in my opinion, he's best known for the song Burn the Flames in the Return of the Living Dead soundtrack. You know, the da 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 the Burn the Flames, Burn the Flames. Uh, so he passed away on May 31st, so rest in peace, Rocky. Anyway, House the Rest is about these two uh, kids. You know, the Bindorfs, uh, Grover and, uh, what was his sister's name? Stacy, uh, yeah. Grover and Stacy, their parents, uh, Ned and Janet Bindorf, Bindorf, played by Kevin Pollock and Jen Jamie Lee Curtis, they're having marriage problems and, um, they, they tell their kids they're gonna get a separation out of divorce, but, uh, Later on in the cafeteria, where uh, Grover's friend Matt, played by Mookie Arizona, he, he tells them first is a, a separation, then a divorce, and the dad's moving out. That's not a good sign. So it probably they were going to get a divorce. Who knows? So, uh, sorry. Grover and Stacy get this plan. Uh, first, they throw him a. Uh, you know, they're. Uh, Anniver hold on. Sorry, what I meant to say was in their basement, Grover and uh, Stacy uh, get this plan to throw their parents' uh, wedding anniversary, or you know their, and you know, you know what I mean. Sorry, you know how my mind is. So they throw them a party, but you know during the scene, uh, Nan and Janet they keep bickering. Uh, so uh, they lock them in the basement, and they nail the door shut. It's so funny. Uh, so they can work out their differences. And uh, when the Grover goes back to school, and he tells them Matt about it in the bathroom, and Matt, uh, you know, he accidentally burns it out. Jesus, you lock you lock your parents in the basement, and that's when the school bully, played by uh, his character was T.J. Crump. He was played by Herbert Russell. He was in the bathroom and he heard the whole thing. Now, at the beginning of the movie, you know that uh, TJ and Grover, well, TJ really hates Grover. He always, he always treats, treats him like shit. But when he, um, when Matt says that out loud, he starts to like Grover for some reason. It's weird, but you know how it is. That's where uh, TJ goes to Grover's house. He gets Matt to kidnap his parents. Uh, you know, Donald Crump, a, a lawyer, played by Christopher McDonald, and his mom, uh, what was her mom's name? She was played by Sheila McCarthy. Gwen, Gwen and Crump, Crump, I'll say. But also, Matt decides to lock his uh, parents at Grover's house, too, because his parents, Matt's parents, are, they're having marriage problems, I guess. I forget what Matt says, but, uh, he says his dad always gets a, he says his dad always gets a divorce or something, I forget, but his uh you know, Wallace Sean plays a what is his dad's name? Vic Finley and uh Matt's stepmom is played by uh Caroline Aaron. And he also has Matt's two younger brothers. They all hatch this plan to put them all in the basement in Grover's basement so they could work out their differences but they really keep them prisoner there till they uh learn how to get along again or whatever. Oh they, and there's this uh police chief played by the late late Ray Watson. Chief uh Rocco oh my God, anyway. Yeah Chief Rocco he gets suspicious when he doesn't see uh the Bindor of parents come out of the house so he starts to get this uh, feeling or he just gets suspicious or and later on uh, what else happens in, what else happens in this movie I mean there's a lot of funny scenes I mean there's a 
I forget, uh, Grover likes this girl, uh, you know, uh, Brooke, played by Jennifer Lip Hewitt, uh, she doesn't, uh, she has problems with her mom, not her dad, but she just has problems with her mom, but her mom is, uh, Cindy, uh, I can't pronounce the last name, but it, she's played by Jennifer Tilly, her mom. It's funny how Jennifer Tilly looks kind of like a teenage girl and just try, try, wants to be her daughter. I like how when, uh, you know, Brooke's mom comes to Grover's house, Grover and TJ, they all stare at her. The way they stare at her is just, you know. but they lock her also in the basement. And then, uh, they finally get, uh, with, with uh, Grover's video camera, they, uh, film themselves upstairs while all the parents are in the basement. They're trying to give the group therapy and they always, you know, like anger management. Is this, this movie is a good movie. I know it's not a great movie, but you know, I, I always did love this movie as a kid. I used to watch this film all the time in the 90s. You know, based, mostly in the late 90s because it was like 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Yeah, mid to late 90s. Used to be on HBO all the, all the time. You can watch it. Yes, on HBO all the time. I loved it. And this, things were starting to, to improve until, uh, you know, Janet's lawyer, uh, played by Ben Stein. That was a, a little big sign. Yes, I'm Janet's lawyer or something. And then when uh, he gives Grover divorce papers, all, all hell breaks loose. Not, well, not really all hell, but uh, the binders, they start arguing, and Grover, it's just, it's just a big mess. But that's the movie. I'm not going to give away the whole bunch. I did try to make this, I wanted to make this review a little longer, but I just couldn't. Maybe I can talk a couple of scenes that I like in this movie. What else? Maybe there's some funny scenes. Oh yeah, I love the TG has a pet uh, python, a snake, and where one scene where uh, where Grover was sleeping, he thought it was a uh, Matt's dog Cosmo, but the snake was a uh, slithering on <laughs> Grover's body. When Grover wakes up, he screams like a girl. What else happened in this movie? Um, yeah, they made that hundred video. Uh, the Binder song, "Love Will Keep Us Together," singing you know with the Captain Tennille. When they uh. When they were in the basement, I remember uh, Grover telling them they uh, submitted the window, the basement window. They blocked it. They they had to get a. They chose a uh, Vic Finley to try to escape from the window, and his body gets stuck. They eventually get got him out, but this is funny how he gets stuck, and that's where Chief Rocco discovers uh, that. You know the, that the Bindorfs and the rest of the guy parents were locked in the basement. There's another funny scene where, uh, you know, Vic Finley tells them he read about this article about these people who were locked in the basement and the neighbor came and he found them hung to death. That's when they all got terrified and they all panicked. That's, that's a funny scene, too. Sorry, I love drinking my Gatorade. I love drinking while I do these videos. But anyway, that's it. Check out House Arrest from Black 96. I just love this movie as a kid. It, there's a lot of funny scenes. You know, that's all I'm going to say. What else can I say? I mean, I don't really have enough uh, information on this. I mean, I don't... Uh, I just don't uh, feel like reviewing uh, the whole movie exactly, you know. I don't know what to say. I just lost my train of thought. I just wanted to do this review because I do love the film House Arrest. Oh, there's another funny scene, uh, where, uh, TJ and the kids, while they were at the dinner table, they decided to drink some wine, and Grover got mad. That's my parents' fight, and they took a sip, and they all spitted it out. And the mom, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Bindorf, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, when she find, found out, you eyes are up there drinking. This is so funny. But that's it. I'm just going to end this review. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. That's all I'm going to say. But check out House of Rest. And you don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Please just subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. If you can. I'm sorry. That's it. I'm about to end this video. Anyway, I'm out. And I might, I might do another video. Who knows. I feel like doing more movie reviews and 
continue, guys, stuff in my life. That's all I want to do. 